as well. That's yes, smart because they do the, the whole thing is obviously e voices all online. Yeah. Right now, you have to social distance. Just having the perfect time frame. They, they probably, I wonder if they actually pushed it forward. They were like thinking, yeah, oh, we should, we, should, we should do this, and now's the time to strike. That is actually, yeah, that's a good point. Because yeah, we, we film, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you've announced it yet or posted it, but we actually we filmed a video on your channel over the Discord, right? And actually, I, I thought yeah, it's I actually out. went okay. So it's already out. Let's go. I actually <laughs> yeah. thought it was really uh, it, w it went really well. Yeah, because it is a thing of like you can literally internet's so good you can share screens so easily, etc. Stuff like that. Like it yeah. is easy. So. Discord has definitely helped a lot because Skype was. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, but they they they've seemed to have started off really really well. They did have a little bit of controversy though. Yeah, so as we previously mentioned, um, in that group, in that friend group, to the outside, obviously I don't know, you know, much in terms of each of them in, in, in their own lives, but I know obviously as an outsider looking in, their their whole group did really like kind of consist of those four, uh, you know, Will Meemanless, Alex, and uh, Alex, is it James Marriott, and then also uh, uh, for that, so was he meant to have initially? Then they then they called it off a little bit, but then I heard that. Apparently, and again, guys, this is just, this is just what I, I've not really looked into this too much. I'm just scrolling through Twitter, but I, I feel like I saw something where they said that they were in the group chat. Obviously, he's in that group chat, and they said they spoke about it, and he never seemed to buy it or never seemed to like speak about it, maybe. And then that's why they didn't include him, and then he was disappointed that he wasn't included. Yeah, the thing is for me, like I don't know the backstory. Yeah, but I kind of think that there's no real. If they're mates at the end of the day, and there's no malice behind it, yeah, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Like, I mean, the sidemen, for example, like we talk to you, Freezy Lux, every day. Like, I talk to you yeah. more than I talk to most of the sidemen. Yeah, it it doesn't mean like you can't like that group is your mates now. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, even at the, even at the, at the time, like the sidemen was uh was conceived. Um, there were other people in that group, you know, um, but it just, things happen the way they happen, right? Yeah, it's just, it's just one of those things, because it's like, it happens, then you, then yeah. your mates still don't let, I don't know, it's, I think it's maybe hard to in, explain. In, in this one now, I think, because they, because they put five of them, and then there's one that hasn't, like, you know what I'm saying, say if like, say if right now, there was all those lot, like, Cal, Cal, that beat, say, and then all you seven went to meet the side men, and there was us, not in it, like, it kind of wouldn't be, wouldn't be fine, but then it's safe if it was just one who was not included. Maybe yeah, that, that, that would true, yeah. change it a little bit. Uh, but no, nah, it is what it is. I mean, I don't know the backstory again. I don't know what's involved. That's, I'm yeah, sure they've definitely thing. spoken about it. Surely they've spoken about it. I mean, I'm, it doesn't, I never lived with James. Not anymore, I don't think. Oh, okay. Well, I, I, what I do think, I know? I think. <laughs> what do I know? But, I mean, congrats to the E-Boys for starting off doing well. Yeah. Um, they, they've made it past that controversy. So, yeah, sure. I, I really um, like Anaba, by the way, guys. Just check him out. He's, he makes good videos. Um, yeah, shout out yeah. Anaba. Yeah. He has a cool dog as well. Oh, he does, he does. <laughs> but, but also, I guess, I guess the reason we started this like whole part off is, you know, the, the question, or every time a group seems to, in the UK at least, seems to come about now, everyone always goes, ooh, are they the new sidemen, or are they trying yeah, to be the sidemen? that's the thing. Yeah, and, I, and, and I'll say my opinion on here is, uh, I'll say number one, I don't think they are trying to be the sidemen. I think number two, I don't think they will be. Uh, in terms of, well, I don't think they'll be com competing with each other. Um, I think it's just, a, a, you know, four, uh, four people who are doing well deciding to, you know, we're all friends, we're all making similar type of content, let's put together and make videos together, right? Yeah, I mean, realistically, like, Sidemen, E-Boys, and then the third, like, I'm trying to think of actual groups in the UK. Okay. You have them, beta, beta and you have, yeah. You have those two and Beta Squad. Like yeah. Beta Squad are more similar, way more similar to Sidemen. Not in a bad way. That's not mm. me throwing shade or anything. Yeah, yeah. E Boys are literally like, I think they've set themselves out as like they're going to be online. Yeah, that's that's within the name as well, right? Yeah, obviously we're doing online stuff right now, but it is because of the times we're in. Yeah. Like, so, so as soon as this is over, like we will go back to normal videos. Beta Squad do it. And to be honest, they smash it as well. Yeah. It's it's literally like, I don't know. I don't think you have to see anyone as competition, realistically. There's enough of a view a viewership for yeah. everyone to succeed. Exactly. Maybe, maybe, there's, maybe there's competition in terms of, you know, motivating each other. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Like, it's, it's, you know, the Sidemen didn't, uh, didn't create 
group channels. <laughs> they didn't no, create no. Like, a, a group, you know. It's just a smart way. Like, what, what I find as well, and I think you guys can, uh, well, you guys are the testament to this, is if you're in a group, you find, it's, it's exactly what we were talking about earlier with, the, with running, you know. If you're in a group, each person motivates the other more, you know. Like, you know, you, you guys will push each other to make your own content, but you'll also push each other to make content for the group, you know. So it's great. Whereas, like, you have someone, say me, just on my own, you know, I, 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 I have to answer to myself. <laughs> which is which is a lot harder to do when you're than when you're in a group. Yeah, I mean it's just an extra like thing. Obviously, it's more fun recording with a mate anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. These guys all seem to like these uh, these guys these four collab with each other constantly anyway on their own channels. Yeah. But normally like you know one at a time. So why not do this whole just do one video a week where it's us all together. And yeah. that goes on a group channel because then it's like you know it's not me going oh can all four can all three of you other people be in my video we can all benefit every single week exactly yeah all doing the same thing and I imagine they've done it like us as well where it's like a a rotor of like all right someone's gonna take this video and sort it kind of thing yeah the last one I saw I think uh, it seemed to be James Mario who uh, kind of like set that up yeah so I mean. Good luck to them. They're on 570,000 subscribers. Like, Boom. I'm sure they'll hit a million very soon. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's been two weeks and they're on 600k pretty much. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, first yeah, video is on over a million as well. Yeah, they, they make they make great. All of them make great content as well. So I think even together they'll you know do great things. I think. Yeah, um, for sure. For sure. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, that's the E Boys. Check them out. Make sure you go subscribe to them. And Sidemen sure. as well. And Beta Squad. Go subscribe to yeah, all yeah, three. Yeah, Squad. Bro, they're, they're, they're sick, man. I feel like Beta Squad are just... They're all just naturally funny, aren't they? Yeah, they stopped, though, is the issue. What, what stopped posting? Yeah, because of this, like... Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, because they say new videos every Saturday at 2pm. They haven't posted in three weeks. Yeah, I guess also because... Keep in mind that, like, obviously the Sidemen do, yeah, you, you guys do make videos out and about, but... All of you come from gaming, so you all have that mentality of you've all been recording it inside anyway for a lot, of, for many years. So you guys yeah, need to go back to that and it's only your own channel. I mean, you know, you know, you've you, you been doing gaming channel anyway. But like I'm saying, like, you all have the facility to eat, or eat, eat yeah. jump online, record a game together. Everyone's got a set of everything. Where I feel like you know, people like Nico, people yeah. like Nico, who like his videos are so like long to make and film. Yeah, they're always out and about. Like you can't. Yeah, he he yeah. won't probably have the setup to do this kind of video. Yeah, like, exactly. he can probably get it. They have oh yeah, yeah, them, they, they can set it up for sure. But I'm saying like, say you you guys film gaming videos every week together on Discord. So for example, doing the quiz that you guys did last week, it's the same principle as your gaming videos. You just change the actual content. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, UK scene, you know, it's picking up. Sure. Side men, beta squad, e boys, all pop in. Is there? There's got to be more. I'm, I'm definitely forgetting people. Now, if I am, I am genuinely sorry. I can't think of any more. What was the old one? Um, wasn't there an old one that like Chunks used to be in? Uh. When, when, this, when the side men first started, everyone would make like group kind of side men. The ninjas. Was that what it was? Like like Chunks and Peep, uh, Peep Monster and that. I think there was a group like that. I can't remember the name. Um, there's something like that, yeah. yeah but yeah, yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's a story for another time. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll research that one and come back to you. Um, yeah. yeah. Speaking, of, speaking of e-boys. Go on. Um, it's very easy to be an e-boy when people online don't know who you are. <laughs> and if you, would, if you would like to protect your privacy and security online, Check out up your boys at ExpressVPN. Let's go, bro. I was going to do a segue as well, but I was like, is it too soon? Like, is Simon going to be on the same wavelength? I was going to say, if you are in America and you're jealous of how much great content we have in the UK, <laughs> get ExpressVPN and maybe you can <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have a taste of what it's like in the UK. But yeah, guys, so we all know how ExpressVPN protects your privacy and security online, right? That's yeah. a given. But, something that you might ne- but here's something you may not know. Uh, you can also use ExpressVPN to unlock movies and shows that are only available in other countries. Indeed. Now, that so- oh, never mind. Now that so many of us are stuck at home, it's only a matter of time until you run out of stuff to watch on Netflix. That's actually a fact, bro. That's a fact.
time. So, yeah. this whole week I've been using ExpressVPN to binge what I haven't, but I know all of you lot in America will have been <laughs> using ExpressVPN to binge watch Doctor Who on UK Netflix because Doctor Who is one of the greatest shows of all time and it came from the UK. Awesome. It's so simple to do. I just fire up the ExpressVPN app, change my location to the UK. Well, I don't, obviously, but <laughs> you do. Refresh Netflix and that's it. I actually did this when I went to... Where did I go? China. Not, 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 not the porn one. I oh, did okay. That, I, yeah, did it I was going to say, I've already heard the story. <laughs> no, I did it as well for... I was watching something on Netflix and I loaded it. I loaded up Netflix in America, I think it was. Yeah. And I was literally like, oh, they've taken it off Netflix. I got really annoyed. I texted someone. I was like, I'm pissed. They've taken it off Netflix. And they're like, no, you haven't. No, they haven't. It's just, you know, UK, US. Yeah. So I literally, this, yeah. was, this was years ago. I downloaded ExpressVPN at that point and I was like, mm-hmm. oh. Well, that was yeah, easy. Sick. A, g- a good trick as well, guys. If you, if you have a show that uh, is no longer available in the UK, it happens a lot. Like you're watching a show, because the way, the way Netflix works is they have to buy contracts. So sometimes they have something, sometimes they don't. Uh, if you're watching a show, because I've been in the middle of watching a show and it's just not on Netflix anymore because they've taken it off, go to America, it might be on there. So you can just continue where you left off. Um, yeah, so it's great. See Netflix, uh, see ExpressVPN uh, hides your IP address and lets you control where you want the sites to think you're located. You can choose from almost 100 different countries and just think about all the Netflix libraries you can go to. Imagine if you could, like, specifically choose, like, Harry's house <laughs> and then just watch really weird porn. <laughs> get, get his Netflix history. <laughs> yeah, and then, it, and then or like, it's, his mum's just like, um, I just got an email through of some things you've been watching on the IP address. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, love anime? I do. I do. Ah, bro. Oh. Well, that's one of the examples I meant. So yeah, I, I, was, I was watching one of the ones you guys told me to watch, I think Attack on Titan, and I, I, I watched one episode so and it's not on good. anymore. Good. Use ExpressVPN to access Japanese Netflix and be spirited away. That's funny. I like that. Bro, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into the Japanese Netflix today using ExpressVPN. I mean, I'm, I'm going to check that out, what they've got. Uh, but it's not just Netflix. ExpressVPN works with any streaming service, Hulu, DVC, iPlayer, YouTube, Disney Plus as well, because that wasn't available in the UK for months, so I was using ExpressVPN to get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are hundreds of VPNs out there, but the reason I use ExpressVPN to watch shows is it's ridiculously fast. There's never any buffering or lag, and you can stream in HD no problem. ExpressVPN also it is also compatible with all your devices, phones, media consoles, smart TVs, and more, so you can watch what you want on your personal device or big screen wherever you are. So, if you visit our special link right now at expressvpn.com slash what's good, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. So, uh, yeah, support show, the show. Watch what you want and protect yourself with ExpressVPN at expressvpn.com slash what's good. Jeez. That's the one hard thing about doing is uh, Discord. I, I, I don't know if you're forcing me to jump in or <laughs> just <laughs> or having a break. dramatic effect. <laughs> yeah. But um, I want to let you, know, you guys know as well, I was using ExpressVPN the other day because I was downloading the new Call of Duty update, uh, Warzone, on my PC. I did the same. Yeah, and it was so slow. So slow. So I actually used ExpressVPN and it was faster. <laughs> Mad. It gave it like uh, a stable So many connection. people are going to be like, so many people are going to be like, oh, that doesn't make a difference. It's like... I did it, and it I, went faster. I did it, and it worked, right? Guys. It, might, it might not have meant to have worked, but it worked. <laughs> yeah, and I think maybe, maybe like your, IP, your IP is congested, you know, so you should use, use a different one. Um, but now JJ's I downloading VPN. more. JJ's downloading porn again. Oh, God damn it, JJ. Um, but yeah, check out ExpressVPN uh, down below. Uh, one thing... Go on. oh, I don't know, actually. I don't, need, I don't have a segue for this, to be honest. Oh, okay. I'll just go for it. All right, so... We've both been streaming on Twitch a lot. Actually, yes. I have one thing I want to point out. Okay. We stream- you streamed yesterday playing Marbles. Oh, yeah. And you uh, admitted something oh. on your stream. Guys, I admitted on my stream that dipping toasties or your toasty into ketchup is, is actually it's not nice. It's not nice, guys. It's wrong. Yeah, he admitted but that. He I admitted, admitted that, that be- on I admit the stream. That because Simon beat me in a 1v1 on Marbles. But, as I said, so... I wouldn't put that on the line because a marble can't tell me that that's right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, I, I said. No, but you put it on a line. Yeah. Do you know you, that there's you, a chance you were wrong? I said, Simon, one v one. If you win, you have to say that uh, dipping ketchup is nice because if, if I, if all the way around, I have to admit the other way around, you know. So, but then Simon said before the race started, he's like, oh, I'm, not, I'm not putting that on the line. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm not letting a marble decide that. Yeah. So I'm that's wrong. Th- therefore you're void. The, the game wasn't on anymore. The game was n- not void, bro. You can't. Yeah, but the fact that the fact that you even were willing to put that on, it's a bit of fun, bro. Because you can't say you can't then say if 
I do win, you went back in, and then if you win, I have no idea, yeah, but I didn't say you had to say it. Yeah, no, I, I, you didn't have you to. You just said it anyway. Said, yeah, 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 exactly. Well, I don't mind saying it with the premise, or with the, with the asterisk, asterisk, what, what is that word? Ast asterisk. 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 I can't say it, asterisk. I just say asterisk. Okay, yeah. Well, whatever that means, the star. Um, the star. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll admit it with the star next to it. Still time for the cushion. Time for the cushion. Do apply, guys. So, yeah, we've both been streaming on Twitch a lot. Yeah. Um, and, obviously, I'm posting daily on YouTube, still, my second channel. Mm -hmm. My main channel's... Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we we're, we're going to have a little uh, Twitch v YouTube. So, yeah, somebody asked me, or someone, I, I said to this Discord today, anyone got any ideas? Someone said, if you could only do one for the remainder of your life, which would it be? Stream on Twitch or post YouTube videos? Now, obviously, there's tons of platforms out of there. Uh, it's pretty much, would you stream or would you make videos? So, are we taking the monetary value out? Yes. Yeah. Okay, because... At this point in my career, YouTube is more... Yeah, yeah. Someone also like, asked, like, would you rather have a million subscribers or 5,000 Twitch subs? And I was like, a uh, million subscribers. Sure. I'd rather have 500,000 Twitch subs. No, no, no 5,000. Oh. Yeah. Because I'm... I'm, I'm Depends how active they are. Uh, subscribers yeah, mean nothing on YouTube. It's the exactly. It, it, yeah. Well, they do and they don't. But I'm saying that if, if, if all those 5,000 were gifted, and then in a month's time they're all gone, then exactly. I'd rather have... There's too to, many, too many yeah. things there to change. Um, yeah. I mean, like, this month so far, we've had 20 days. We've recorded this on the 20th. Okay. I've streamed 67 hours. Uh, Randolph has streamed 101 hours. Yeah, don't be. So we, like, I'd like to think 67 is a decent amount of time, considering I'm still, you know, posting. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, hey, just, I'm posting as well, just to let everybody know out there every day. What are you posting? I post one every day. Shout out. Big up. Right. Check it out. <laughs> but I'd like to think like I mean only do uh, I struggled streaming twenty hours originally. Yeah. Now you know. Um I enjoy streaming more. Okay. But I think that's because it's newer and exciting and it's like it's like a relaxation side of con creating content, right? So you you've been making videos all the time and now it's like, like now, now it's like oh I'll jump on Twitch. And I'll relax. I'll just yeah, relax. it's almost like an escape from the work I do where I create videos. But if I didn't create the videos, Twitch would become the work and I'd enjoy it less. Yeah. I so do. I think they kind of go hand in hand, but YouTube is like my bread and butter in terms of that's just what I like to do. That's It allows me to be way more creative. Like, you can be creative on a stream like The Doc. Yeah. But I just don't. I don't know. Not, really not like a video. Really tough one. I, 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 you know, YouTube is my thing, and I've just started streaming recently. Uh, I think for me, YouTube allows me to make, you know, obviously, first of all, make, you know, release music videos, uh, which is what I enjoy the most, uh, make new music, etc. But I think if I had to do it for the rest of my life, bro, put this. Now, nah, we, we, I think I would go for streaming, you know. Really? Because I would just check. I wouldn't stream what I'm doing right now. It's we so are taking out the ability to stream on YouTube, by the way, on this. Yeah, yeah, Because sure, some yeah. people will be like, why wouldn't you just stream on YouTube? And then and it, yeah, yeah, no. So, I think, okay, and this, this is my argument for it. What I do right now is I post Pokemon pack opens every single day. So, I open Pokemon cards, and I, and I love doing that. Like, I, I, I mean, I love doing it anyway, and then filming it is even better. So, I enjoy doing that. On stream, I'm playing, like, Animal Crossing, I'm playing, like, Warzone, and I also enjoy doing that as well. I think... In terms of like the amount of work, I definitely say like Twitch is more work. So, well, it's more it's more active hours on the platform. So I'm doing like eight nine hours a day, whereas my pack opening it doesn't take that long, you know. Uh, and you know, Laura's editing it. But yeah. what I would I, I would choose streaming, but I would just stream my pack opening. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. No, I get you. I get you. Because I think in, when, when I'm streaming with, with, with YouTube. I'm still, I'm still actively working. It feels like work. Even though, even though I'm enjoying it, I still have to get a thumbnail done. I have to get a video done. I have to post it, blah, blah, blah. With Twitch, I can get away with, I'm not saying I do this, but I, like for the rest of my life, I can get away with every time a new game comes out, I just play it all day. Just be busy. You know? See, the other issue I have with Twitch or streaming in general is it's so, like, it's so time dependent in terms of 
so YouTube, obviously, you know, if I if a new game comes out yeah. and I want to get some views on my second channel, I can go, all right, I'm going to play that game. I'm going to post whatever, etc., stuff like that. Yeah. Or like a video comes out, you want to react to it, etc. Twitch, I stopped streaming for four days and yeah. I instantly lost 500 subscribers or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah. And it is yeah. stressful. And I know so many streamers that are literally there like like me already i don't like taking holidays because i'm away from videos That's but true, at least yeah. if i go somewhere like america or something like that i can go all right i'm gonna just film it i'm a vlog that's a video yeah whereas streaming like yes i could you know stream on my phone and walk around but like you're not yeah, going to do that nah, realistically that's a good time. point that you know we spoke about this before the podcast i've, I've been streaming like two weeks two three weeks consistently now every day and i'm already like a little bit burnt out because i've taken like a day or a night off just to kind of like yeah. get, get excited about it again whereas i haven't i haven't that's not happened yet on youtube but i think again that's what i said earlier it's because i'm opening pokemon cards you know but if i did that in my streams would i still feel i don't know that's, yeah potentially and I, I, can't, know, I can't do that for nine hours a day <laughs> that's exactly i don't so. know to me it's more like Twitch is a like a a hobby that's also um, financially and career careerly. I don't know what the right word. It's beneficial. Yeah. Whereas YouTube is just like YouTube is beneficial in every way, but it's something that I know I can do for a long time. I know I won't get bored of YouTube. Yeah, for sure. I think I, I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm right now. I think I'm. I'm gonna change what I said earlier. I'm inclined to say YouTube right now, but ask me in a year. Because I'm, I'm, I'm starting new on Twitch right now, it's like, I haven't really yet had the lows, and I haven't had the crazy highs yet, so it's like, in a year's time, I might, this, this question might be a lot more easier for me to answer. Like, Twitch, you can also, I think that you're able to change yourself more on YouTube than Twitch. Yeah. For example, like, Ethan, for example. Okay. You go back three years ago, five years ago, Ethan is a hardcore gamer. Yeah. Now he only posts videos, you know, of real life stuff and mo you know, eighty percent of it is stuff that he does. Yes, you can on Twitch, you know, he could stream games and then he could slowly transition into workout streams. Yeah. But that's well, not as not feasible. Not right now either. Yeah. Whereas YouTube it's possible, you know, I wanted to be a professional footballer when I was younger. Yeah. So I can make games videos and not tomorrow because of this COVID nineteen, but Tomorrow I could go record a football video, and you know, a half a million to a million people will watch me play football. That's like a, you know, that's that's effectively my dream of being a professional footballer. Yeah. Twitch, I can't stream me playing football every day. It's hard to even stream it once. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think YouTube definitely gives you a lot more um, variety than you could do on Twitch. Obviously, Twitch is not only gaming; like they are, they are starting to branch out now. On stream, which is something I want to, I want to try soon. I want to make some music while I'm on stream. But uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot more limited than YouTube is. Because YouTube, you can do whatever you want. I mean, right now, we're, we're on YouTube talking, right? So <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, nah, I think YouTube has to be... It's just my bread and butter, and it's my YouTube's my, my, my bae. I'm also, like, very... I don't like doing live events that much. You know, like, stage stuff. Like, I like it a bit, but I'm very nervous of something going wrong, and it's obviously live. Yeah. Twitch, I have a little bit of control because I control, you know, the scenes. I can end my stream quickly, whatever, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. YouTube, you're in full control. Yeah, true. Like, I am posting what I want to go out. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, and tw Twitch definitely leaves, does leave you a lot more, not, not exposed, but, you know, you, it's you live, direct. Um, yeah, yeah man. and it's like people trying to trick you constantly. <laughs> well, the question, this, this question is based on what you would do for the rest of your life. So if you, yes, if you so went with YouTube, you know. I'm going to go with YouTube. Right. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with YouTube right now because it, it, it yeah, I'm going to go with YouTube. It gets me too close to my goals, which is music, whereas Twitch is more of a, yeah, I could just stream play games all day, but every single day for my rest of my life, I'm not sure. I think I'll yeah. get burnt out very easily. But, and I mean, go on, go on, go on, no, go on. Yeah. But mine's a segue to move this subject on. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, go I was going to say, your, uh, like, your, life goal yeah is, is to be a rapper correct yes it's just to make music and have an audience I've, I've got no like i don't need to be like a certain level i just want to be able to make music and yeah get out whereas there. i think if you made music if you streamed and you made music you'd become like that streamer you'd become that streamer rapper 
yeah, well, and, yeah, like, you yeah. know, you'd release an EP or whatever, and it'd be kind of like, well, I think you'd it. get a lot less, yeah, but you'd get a lot less, even if you made it off-stream, oh, okay. you'd get less, like, listens than you could actually post videos on YouTube. And yeah, true. It's just, you know, that that's more, you actually, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I think it uh, verifies you more as yeah, a musician. You. Yeah. Well, yeah, because, yeah, because, you know, I, I, you know the, the, the top people in the industry don't post their YouTube videos on a stream. They, they, they post them as videos. Yeah. Anyway, what I was going to say, I was going to segue with this. I was going to say, uh, the question was, you know, do you have to, you know, stream for the rest of your life or make videos for the rest of your life? They both seem to revolve around the remainder of your life. So my question yes. is, next, how long do you think you keep doing what you're doing now? So... When I was 21, 22, 23, yeah. oh God, I sound old, I, I thought to myself, like, how long am I really going to do this for? Yeah. And I always looked at Nep and Bates and people like that who were a, bit, a little bit older, you know, at the time, 27 to 30 kind of thing. Yeah, for those who don't know, that's Nepenthes and Bates for all you uh, yeah. Zoomers. <laughs> so Can't they're a little the bit older, and I thought to myself, like, they're still doing it, so, you know, like, why can't I be doing it at that age? Yeah. I mean, it's only, like, four or five years or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or less than that. <laughs> yeah, th- these guys aren't, like... <laughs> yeah, these no, guys no, are. the, yeah, no. But, you know, they're also, like, married with kids and stuff like that. They're still smashing it. Like, Nep, every yeah. year, has got, like, the same amount of views, if not more. So I'm kind of there, like, as long as... Like, right now, he's literally, when I met him, and the two years after that, I remember him saying, like, if I can do 10 million views a month, yeah. I'll be, like, happy forever, kind of thing. Yeah. This was this was six years ago, five oh, right. years ago. Wow. I'm looking right now at his channel. He's on 10 million views a month. Right. Did you do what he said, then? Like, his, yeah, like, obviously, he has views, like, I'm looking back to 20, if I go back to 2017... His lowest viewed month was 5 million. Wow. His highest viewed month is 15 million. So he literally goes from 5 to 15, staying around 10. That's amazing. Every year. And it's just yeah. like, I rate that so much because it's just like he's just continuously killed it, adapted it what work, he needs yeah. to, and just kept it there kind of thing. So I genuinely find it hard to answer that question because I think as long as I adapt and people are watching, I don't know why I've stopped. Yeah. That's exactly my opinion as well, because I, I also think that you can pivot and you can readjust yourself based on your interests. So, two examples, uh, two very different spectrums as well. Um, obviously, right, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to build platforms and build you know audiences and enjoy what I'm doing. That's, that's why I'm doing Pokemon now. Um, it's one of the I think one of the main things I do. You know, every, every single day I'm making you know that content on that channel. I'm posting it, and I still have obviously I don't get the amount of views on that channel that I get on my main channel, but I do have more of a active and more of a uh, loyal like audience fan base there because we're we're like all glued together with one interest, right? Like the viewers yeah. they enjoy this content, I enjoy this content, we're, you know, we're, we're we're enjoying this. Whereas before on my other channel, you know, maybe I'm doing diss tracks or I'm doing like reaction type things here and there. People are gonna think, okay, I'm watching this for that video rather than the person behind it and the content they bring to me. So I think. As long as you truly enjoy what you're doing, you can you can adapt. You know, same thing same thing with Nep and like he, he's doing he's doing FIFA right. Everyone yeah. there, they they like they like the gameplay. You know, he, he's very involved with FIFA. He's got a lot of opinion on it, and he's like deep into that. So because he has that love for it, his audience will as well. So maybe one day he, he might dislike dislike FIFA. He wants to stop playing, and instead he wants to go and make I don't know woodworking content where he just so that's what I mean. He goes to his garage and makes. Yeah, I wasn't gonna go that extreme, but he did start. <laughs> playing Fortnite and COD and stuff and you yeah. know he kept that he kept a smaller percentage of the audience but you know if you if you're happier exactly you do it, it, yeah yeah you. whatever whatever you can do to allow yourself to be happy you just just do it you know like say but say people can tell and that's why they stick with you Ethan Ethan started doing workout videos and stuff like that yeah and they started off they didn't get as many views to start with and it was because obviously it's not what they expect to see yeah. But instantly, you can see Ethan's so much happier making it. Exactly, yeah. He, he was actually my second example. Yeah, and now his views are higher than ever. Yeah, sure. And he's, it's like, he's, he's happier. Yeah, like you can see, 
it's so obvious that he's happy. Like, yeah. you can tell when someone's not happy making a video. Yeah, oh, you, can, you definitely can. Yeah. But to go back, yeah. I'm not trying to call Nep or anyone old. Just okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually trying to say they're like my... Like, like role model type thing. Yeah, they're like a role model for me. Like, sort of, like that's that's how you do it. Yeah. yeah. And sure, man. You just gotta you just gotta be genuine. That's that's what it is, you know. It's, it's all about being genuine. That, and that's why I think I, I get frightened. Well, th this question comes up a lot because a lot of people think that if you get to a certain age, you will fall off. And I, and I actually do really dislike the whole like notion of falling off because a lot of people say, oh, in relevancy. That's the word. Relevancy. I oh, you, hate the yeah, word relevancy. You, you're not relevant anymore. Or just, I'm not saying to me. Um, I'm not saying, but people say that like it's anyone i just don't understand it because and i think it comes from the whole clout style, yeah, it style content in america because people say rice comes falling off i mean he's still on twitch getting like 10k live live viewers you know so that's that's the thing the way i see it is okay so say say i 